everyone, welcome to Watch It, Paint It. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Zombicide Black Plague paint set by the Army Painter, specifically for Zombicide Black Plague, and also the Zombicide Green Horde sort of expansion paint set for, for helping with Green Horde. So I'm going to break this video into sort of three parts and I'll leave some um, sort of time jumps below. So I'll do the unboxing of this first, I'll leave a link to that. The unboxing of the Green Horde bit next, leave a link to that. And then I'll do a little sort of just talk slash review after that. So I'll leave a link to that. So you, you can skip around the video as, as as to where you might find a part that's interesting for you. Because essentially, I'm, I mean, you know what's in, in these boxes just from the outside, but I thought I'll open them because I can. So just a little disclaimer to begin with, Army Painter very kindly sent me these free of charge. So I'm still gonna try and talk about it as openly and honestly as I can but you know as a small youtuber sending stuff you know there's not much support we don't get a lot of money from well we get like next to no money from YouTube itself patreon helps a lot and then the next thing is support from from other companies just sending stuff so as unbiased as I'll try to be it does mean a hell of a lot when a company helps a YouTube channel as small as ours is so that's just a little disclaimer there I'll uh, just crack both these with a knife so I can get the knife out of my out of my arm's reach and not stab myself at any point once that's done. So just broken both of those seals. So yeah, so this is exciting. I don't think anyone's got this yet. So anyway, back to that in a minute. I'll put that to one side. Let's just quickly whiz through zombie side black plague paint set. Here we go. Open that up. And what do we get? It's empty, so you get a nice box if you if you like boxes. That is a nice one. So first of all, you get a hot uh, at the hot their hobby range. So they've got various ranges. One of them's the hobby, and that's this sort of brownie red color brush. And this is their um, highlighting, so it's sort of a detail brush. Just give it a quick lick, lick, so we can see the point. It's pretty good. I've got a few of these brushes. I've never actually used them. I just have them, and then I upgraded. Wow, Alexa's just chatting to me. Let me just, just mute her so she doesn't interfere with us again. So, yeah, I've got a few of these. I've not actually used them because I straight away got their um, most wanted range. So, I've never used that. Uh, I might use it while I'm painting the rare remainder of the Green Horde set, just so you guys can see what this brush is like, if that's of any interest to you. I guess I should find out for myself as well. So, so, so far on the Green Horde, I've painted three in just Army Painters set. So hopefully I'm going to be able to finish it off and show you what these extra colours are. So back to the back to the Black Plague core set, as it was. So you get the Plague Skin, which is a very light pale green, which I'll probably be using for the Zom, uh, the, the Runners, the, the Goblins. Then you get an Elf Green. That's quite a sort of army dark green so I use that for sort of green and just every other green probably clothing that sort of thing you get necromancer cloak that's the dark gray very very useful paint for a lot of things leather brown again perfectly very useful paint for lots of leathery colors uh, you get a bright gold so it's one of their metallics it's perfect for if you need to do any gold stuff claymore blade a light silver this is one of my favorite silvers I've got a handful of them five maybe and this is my favorite, I use that a lot. Wolf Grey, a darkish blue. It's very good for denim and wolves and like depending which shade you use, that's a fantastic blue. You can make it look very, very dark black. Sorry about this, uh, my daughter stamping me today. And then you get a pair of shaders. So you get a plague shader, which is a, a lightish green shader. So it just that's good for sort of combining with the plague skin. They go very, very well together there. That and anything else you need to just do a green shade and then the deep shade is a very dark brown shader so this makes things look very dirty and dark so that's that's very handy I use that a lot I mean you'll see these paints a lot on my videos because I use army painters paints a lot then abomination gore so that's just a, a nice mid-range red it's not super bright but it's not a dark red either it's great for most things and depending how I'm going to shade it I can control whether it's dark or light and that sort of thing a bit of plastic you know holds the paint and then you get what is this? I've not seen one of these before. Some pamphlets. Ah, some some instructions. So this this is good if you need some help pre-assembling miniatures. 
spraying miniatures with colour primer so it can show you their colour primer range. This is quite handy actually, I might have to do that myself. Just double check I do things as they would advise. So that's it, that's the lot from the core Black Plague set. Just move these a bit out of my way because OCD. It's not really OCD, but you know. And then let's open the Green Horde paint set. So this is the this is the add-on again. Nice box if you care about boxes. I did actually keep all of my um, <laughs> army painter boxes for ages, and then I've just thrown them away before I started my YouTube channel. Otherwise, I'd show you what's in them all and talk about kind of what I'm going to do in this video, how I started painting. And then so you've got an additional six paints here. That's all that was in the box. You just get a little tray, very similar to their other add-ons to the modern day zombie side stuff. So you get a tray of, tray of six. Ooh, goblin skin. So that's a yellow brown. So I've said that for a, a while. I don't know if, how many videos you've seen of mine, but I'm often complaining that I don't have a sort of browny yellow for um, for my army painter sets. So they've finally done it. So this, this color is fantastic. I use it so much. It's just a lighter leather that I often want to use to do clothing and that sort of thing. So I'm not sure if the goblin skin is suggesting that we should be painting our goblins in this colour, but I'm not going to be, I don't think. Although that's quite cool, that's very distinguishing from the green that I just suggested I'm going to do mine in. So bear that one in mind. We've got, so they, give, they gave us orc skin as well. That's this dark green, so how does that compare to the elf green? Isn't that... So then, but in my eyes, I can see they're not the same, but on camera they look really similar to me. So this is sort of duller. <laughs> it's hard to describe. This is sort of more of a yellowy green. So there's difference in there. So that's nice. It's not. It's nice to have colours with slight differences sometimes because it makes all the difference when you're making detail. If you've got two of the same greens, it's nice. Two two greens on a model. It's nice to have slightly different ones. It will stand out better. So is that supposed to be the orc skin? Because I'm not sure about that. I want. I want to do them blue. I'm thinking about that wolf. Uh, the wolf grey for them. So then they gave us a horde shader. So you get an extra shader in this. Yeah, that's wash, and that's green as well. That looks a lot, lot, lot darker than the uh, than the plague shader. So let's have a look. It's again. It's difficult to tell on the camera. I think, but they do not look the same. I'll be able to tell you soon when I start painting some more of Green Horde, which is coming up in the near future. They gave us a crushed skull. So that's an that's an off-white. That looks more off-white than the Brain Matter Beige from a previous set. It's not even in these ones. So it's nice to get a, a sort of a white that you could use that as white and it's not bright white. So that's decent. They gave us a pale flesh. That is a pink. I would not be painting at any of my survivors in pale flesh so that's that's an interesting color it looks a lot like toxic boils so we'll see what we use that for but megan probably can have a lot of that pink on her and i think we've seen benson use toxic boils so that's handy and then last but not least is a rough iron so that's a really really dark irony color it's like a really dark metallic so that's a nice little range it's a, it's definitely to me that looks like an add-on set like i would say you cannot just use that without at least the, the base set, the core set of Black Plague. So I, quick onto the sort of the review part. So I first started painting and Zombicide was the very, very first game I painted Zombicide Black Plague. And I did not know what to buy. I didn't know where to begin. I didn't know, you know, there's so many paints on the market. Where are you supposed to start? And I think that's something that, that Army Painter does really well. They supply a set of colors for a specific game and yeah they don't quite have every color oh, that you can see straight away there's that yellow brown I was talking about they don't give you every color you need to paint the model if you want to follow along with the artwork but what they do do is for a reasonable price give you a range of paints which you can paint well I did paint the whole of Zombicide Black Plague with just these paints and then I went on to doing Arcadia Quest and I added like two two extra colors and and then I've just built built up from there, and I've got no problems with uh, with um, army paints paints. I think they're fine. I I mean I've tried Vallejos, got no problem with those either. And I like Citadel. I think these bottles are, I prefer slightly to Citadels. Not I did prefer Citadels to begin with, but then I've shaken them a few times, and the lids have popped off, and I've ruined some Christmas jumpers, which has obviously upset me. But yeah, as I, as I was saying, 
I think this is a, it's a really, really nice, neat idea to get a new painter. It even comes with the brush, so you don't have to worry about buying a brush to give you one. And it's, a, it's a nice way, if you don't know, if you're worried about starting painting and you're not sure where to begin, I think Army Painting does a really, really, really nice job of supplying a package and then that you can add to as the games grow, which we're all used to if we've seen on games expansion after expansion. And I think this is a really, really affordable, neat way of them supplying a, a full set of paints for us to, to start the hobby. I definitely would recommend this is a fantastic way of starting the hobby. It, it needs much, much less research than buying individual paints or which brand to buy. If you've got Zombicide Black Plague, Zombicide Green Horde, it's like, there you go buy these two things and you can begin painting and as time ticks on I've been painting about heading towards two years now your collection of games it grows your collection of paints will grow too and it's just a very very nice easy place to start so I hope that makes sense to everybody and that was just a quick unboxing and just my initial initial ramblings about how I started painting thank you all very much for watching <laughs>